Hello, hello. Welcome to Shady and Why. I'm Marilyn, and today we are doing compacts. This is one of those things that was requested in our 500 subscriber giveaway that people ask for different things than jewelry. So this is something that I happen to have quite a few of them. And I thought I would share them with you. Here is your daily beach view. I just love the beauty. been here before my name is Marilyn and my husband's name is Barry and we are part-time resellers we sell on eBay Etsy Poshmark and YouTube so if you see anything here today it is available all you do is email to mhl22 at ymail.com we'll send you a PayPal invoice anything inside the United States under a pound is five dollars Anything over a pound or outside the United States is based on where you're located and how much it weighs. So I have tons of compacts and it's not because I collect them. It's because for some reason or another, they just get associated with jewelry a lot. So I'll buy jewelry bags or jewelry jars or a tray at the auction and compacts are in them. These two I've already shown you in previous videos and these two I did purposely buy. The rest of them I did not. So I thought I would share a few things with you today and um, see if y'all were interested in any of them. The first one I have I'm going to tell you is it's a Stratton. Stratton is really, really an easy company, okay, because first off, they were great at showing their name um, on their items. If it wasn't marked on the back, which this one is not, however, they did do patterns, which was amazing because they were in business. They were making compacts from 1923 and they changed hands a couple of times, but they ended the company in 1997. So a long time. There is a really, really good um, website and Stratton dated their things from the late 30s all the way through the 90s. So it was quite easy. This one happens to have stars on the back. Um, however, it doesn't have their name. It has like just a little rectangle, but there's nothing there. And when you open it, it says Stratton inside. Um, if you pull this one back, which is, there is no puff in this one, just a filter and a lot of these still have powder in them but uh, this one if you pull it back it automatically opens so if you can see it let's see if we can show it so if you open it far enough back it automatically opens so it doesn't take two hands mirror is really good on this one it just has to be cleaned up, um, but this one is a very good condition, beautiful on the outside. It does have some edging around the enamel a little bit. This one dates from the 50s to 60s, and we know that because of the stars. And this is also a small one, so if you take this one, 
versus this one, you can see the difference in the size. Both of these are Stratton, and this is um, a 50s to 60s, and this one's 60s to 70s. And the way we know that is it has the stars on the bag, but it has Stratton in there, so that's pretty cool. So this one comes with the original little gray bag, and this one I will do for 25. And online, this is running around $50 to 65. So I'll do 25 for subscribers, but it's very pretty. Beautiful green color. Um, it's coming out teal, but it's more green, I'm gonna say. I'm trying to give you, it still looks a little bluish there, but it's closer to green. The next one is, as I said, the Stratton. It is enamel. Both of these were enamel. It's got the puff inside. This one still has um, powder. And they have taken out, the, there was a covering that you could take out, and they've taken that out, and it's no longer with it. And the puff needs some work. A new puff would be good, but I always leave it as I find it. And um, as I said, the back is really good. The, this one has one little mark right here on the enamel, but this one is red, gorgeous with that red and gold. And I'll do 20 on this one. The next one I have is this one. It doesn't have a name, super, super heavy. It is a beautiful gold tone with this wreath on top. However, there is one pink rhinestone missing, which is a shame because that is just so beautiful. It has uh, the mirror. It has the puff. <laughs> and loose powder. I don't know what it is. Something about old powder um, reminds me of my grandmother. I love that smell. It's just, I don't mind it at all. It's not one of those things that I found find offensive, um, but that's one of those things that just takes you back to your childhood. That's what it does for me anyway. So this one is, because of the missing rhinestone, I'll do $3 on that one. The next one I have is this amazing little Evans metal compact with rhinestones. It is a beautiful, I love this one. Um, just silver on the bag. And I have it open because it's real hard to, and the puff on this one is in really good condition but I had to leave it out because of the, um, the sifter is really tight on this one, but it's so great that um, it's still there. So I'll just pop it in. And um, Evans is a really great company. Um, they were in business from 1920s to 1960s, and this one should be from the 40s and it is still has its rhinestones but these companies are so interesting um most of them started as you know in the 1800s as like jewelry makers and button makers um metal makers but after world war one they had to get into other things and compacts were one of these things that before 19 uh 1918 i believe it was most powder and cosmetics came in cardboard. So in America, this was something brand new, experimenting with these compacts. So other countries had um, like France and um, Denmark, other ones like that. They had them before the 1920s. However, America was catching up because of the war and um, but uh, powder came in just like little cardboard containers um, before 1918. 
So Evans was a button company and they moved into compacts. So that was kind of an interesting history about them. Oh, I did want to tell you that um, Stratton um, website that is really, really good. You should check it out. It is Me Avenue, M I Avenue dot blogspot.com. Really, really good. I'll link it below. I have nothing to do with them. I don't know them. I just find it really good information. So if you had a Stratton compact, it would be good to look that up because you can tell that how old it is and things such as that. So anyway, on the Evans one, I would do $10. The next one I have is an Avon. And this is from the 1950s, and it is gold tone with a filigree design. Very good condition on this one. It has um, a little bit of uh, spots on the bottom, but all these, so far I haven't had one that had a broken mirror or anything. All the mirrors are really in good condition. This one has the puff that says Avon and it still has powder. There's the entire puff. And this one, I would do $12 on. And these are subscriber prices. I would list anything higher on um, the platforms that I do online. Like I said, I do eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. If you happen to go on any of those, um, eBay and Poshmark, our closet and store is called The Vintage Mouse. And on Etsy, it's The Vintage Mouse Finds, F-I-N-D-S. Um, so that's our stores. However, on there, they're higher. If you happen to see something that you like and you are a subscriber, just email me and we will do it off the platforms. The next one that I have is a, this was black enamel with gold tone. It is an Elgin American, still with the puff, has the screen or sifter. And there's old powder in there. The mirror is in good condition. The compact is in good condition. However, it's starting to have a little bit of wear inside. The mirror is in good condition. And there's a little bit of wear right in the center. So this is a 1950s and I would do $10. This is a Elgin American Beauty and this one is one of the ones that I have that has no mirror. It is other than that is really good condition. It has the gold tone. It does have some scratches and some wear on the back. However, it you can still read the name. It says American Beauty by Elgin and it does not have a puff and this one I would do for five dollars. This one is really cool. This one is a 1970s um, enamel with the mother of pearl double egret, gold tone on the bottom, and it is a double mirror. Uh, so it's just a compact mirror and very, very pretty. It's tightly closed and I would do $7 on this one. This one is one of the 70s uh, double hanging mirror. It hangs and opens up. So you have a magnified mirror. Oops. And let's see. This one's the magnified and unmagnified, and you just can sit it like so, or you can hang it from here, and it's a travel mirror. 
but very cool. And it looks like tapestry, even though it's just all done in metal. And this one I'll do, and it's folding, can go safely in your purse. I'll do $7 on this one. This one is a Cody New York Airspun from the 1940s. Uh, very cool, a little bit of enamels in, in the center. Really good um, uh, design. However, it's got a lot of discoloration. It says Cody New York on the back and inside it says Cody Airspun. It doesn't have a puff and it has loose powder still inside. The mirror's still in good condition. This one I would do 15. Here we have a hand-painted enamel trinket box. Gold tone, has some discoloration, but it has enamel with a hand-painted flowers that are lifted. It has uh, the uh, little dots, you can feel them. And it's just like a pill box or a small cigar bo cigarette box, rather. Super, super heavy. And this I'll do a $10 on. This one I showed you not that long ago in a video. So I still have this. I haven't listed it yet. I haven't been able to part with it. It's so precious. It was like, okay, I'll put it out to my subscribers. I'll feel a little better if like one of the subscribers gets it. I love this. It is just so beautiful. It is a 1920s with the attached lipstick. It has, it's probably French, even though I can't find a um, name, but this fits with the French design of uh, compacts. It has a mirror here and uh, your blush, I mean, your powder goes here and then behind the mirror is another mirror and your blush or rouge back then. And then all in perfect condition. So, you know, there's little nicks. It's 1920s. This, you'd have a little nicks if you were 100 too. <laughs> and here is the lipstick that is just amazing and it just lifts out and your lipstick goes in there. I love this, such an amazing piece. And this one, I would do um, two subscribers. I would do 100. I would probably list this online for anywhere from 250 to 300. Probably closer to the 300 mark. But for a subscriber, I'll do less. Here is a really cool piece. This is also from the 1920s. It is a lipstick and just screws in. Your lipstick goes right there. Has a little faux turquoise bead on top. But one of the best things about this thing is, let's see if I can get it at an angle and you can see there. If you see, it's like a Spanish bullfighter scene. Here's the guy with the little red cape and the bull, a horseback rider with the sword on this side. It's dancers with a guitar, a man with a guitar, a violin, more dancers. Isn't that cool? Uh, I thought this was a really cool piece. And this one I would do 25 for. Very nice. This one it's got to be my absolute favorite. This thing is gorgeous. I also did a video on this one. This one comes with the glass dome um, and it hangs in the dome. I It's just, condition is amazing. It's also um, 1920s gold over sterling with enamel. It's by David Anderson from Denmark, the Norwegian artist. And it um, is just stunning. 
Inside it's signed 925S. It has the old uh, David Anderson mark and has a number 52, which is I believe is their stock numbers back in the 20s. And there is, that mirror is in incredible condition. Just this, so beautiful. Super tight, super excellent condition. This I'm probably going to list um, online in the 500 range, 525 I'm thinking. And But to subscribers, I'll do 260 on this one. And I have never seen another one of these. So I was just ecstatic whenever I saw the, just how beautiful it is. Um, after that, I have three um, little pieces that are unsigned, so I don't know who they're by. This is just a large compact, has a puff, unsigned. It is quite large, and this one you push in to close, but a very, very pretty, nice design on a gold tone. So I'm just going to say $5 on this one because it has no name. This one is really pretty. Um, it says USA right here, but that's the only name that I can find on it. It is really, really scratched up. It was enamel, but the enamel is toast on this one. But look at that design on there. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. And there's the inside. It's very clean on this one. So I'm just going to say $5 on this one too. And then the last one I have is just this little um, Lady Esther. And um, has the mirror, excellent condition. And just you would drop in a um, powder compact, uh, a round powder from es Lady Esther. And very nice. I think, yeah, it has the glass and the Lady Esther, um, and it just holds the powder. This is probably from the 50s, and I'm gonna say $5 on that one also. So that's what I have today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you see anything that you have to have, send me an email. I'd be happy to send you an invoice. And if you have any questions, definitely leave them down below. Let me know what you think your favorite one is. I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe below if you haven't already. So thank you again for spending a little bit of your day with us and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.